What a year. As one of my colleagues said to me recently, we've gotten through it and we've all learned a lot. That's not a bad summary. And we all hope that next year we'll have fewer obstacles. When I started as headmaster in September, I was able to enjoy the reopening of school after the nation's first lockdown, welcoming students and staff back to our gorgeous campus and witnessing the reunion of friends will be uniquely memorable. And even when we said cheerful Christmas goodbyes in December, few imagined that we would face another lockdown in the Lent term with what became known around the world as the Kent variant. That was a bit too close to home. The pandemic has been difficult for us all, bringing challenges, disruptions, and uncertainty. Well done to you all for making it this far. I also want to recognize that this year has been particularly difficult for those students in the public exam years. And a special well done to all of you. As my first year at Seven Oaks draws to a close, I was looking forward to welcoming parents back on site to celebrate Founders Day and the successes of the past academic year. Instead, and in yet another setback, we will host this event virtually. And once again, I'm addressing you all by video. I hope these messages have been useful in a year when I haven't had the opportunity to meet parents. Despite the challenges, so much has been achieved. I've been overwhelmed by the strength of our school community and its resilience in response to the pandemic. Face masks, year group bubbles, one-way systems, and testing quickly became the norm as we all acclimatized to this new landscape. And as ever, the students cheered me up. I won't soon forget the day I heard one of them say in passing, test negative, but stay positive. The willingness of our students and staff to adapt has also been truly inspirational. I will always be grateful to all of our staff for everything they've done to support our students and the smooth running of the school. We've all had to dig deep at times, and it has been hard. The teachers didn't come into this profession to be an online tutor, but they adjusted brilliantly and continued to support the education of all of our students in a noble way. The creative, inquisitive, and committed approach that our students have shown in their studies and co-curricular activities, even through lockdown, has been phenomenal. And we achieved many firsts, from our virtual STEM week, Green week, and Refugee week, to our stunning virtual IB art exhibition. And collectively as a school, we've clocked up more than 61,000 miles in the Mast Miler competition, a few of those from me, and our service and partnership work in the local community was nationally recognized in the Times Education Awards. In this term, we've run hugely successful enrichment programs for the upper sixth and our year 11. It was wonderful to see these year groups enjoying the summer term and undertaking in different projects, learning for its own sake. Our upper six physicists finished their enrichment course by launching a weather balloon into the stratosphere where it reached the heights of around 23,000 meters, undoubtedly one of the highlights of the year. And many students tried their hand at new music, drama, and art experiences. And after prolonged limits on concerts, this term we were able to enjoy some live music performances. This included a Beethoven concert, a year nine and lower six platform concert with a stupendous performance with the Greek piano concerto first movement. It was such a privilege to witness. Being able to see my first play in the Sackville Theater was a truly wonderful moment as I relished watching the middle school production of Greenland. And it's been brilliant to be back playing sport. We've had 239 different fixtures for our teams and I won't soon forget the first sports match I watched at Seven Oaks, where one of the upper six in the first 11 hit a century, with the final four rolling to a stop near my feet on the boundary. I've also enjoyed sailing this month on the Bow Beach Reservoir, ably looked after by our sailing captain at the helm. And our leavers have finished this year with an incredible set of offers from some of the best universities in the world. 926 offers have been made from leading universities in the UK and overseas, and 51 students leaving hold offers from US universities, a remarkable achievement. My very best wishes to all of you who are off to university shortly. We wish you every success. I applaud you all for seizing the opportunities here at Seven Oaks and achieving such accolades in a truly tumultuous year. I would also like to thank the school community for its generosity. Our Seven Oaks School COVID-19 appeal to date has raised more than 450,000 pounds, which helped to fund COVID safe measures like buying our own PCR testing machines. And it also helped us to distribute hardship bursaries to families disproportionately affected by the pandemic. 
Seven Oaks School has been transforming the life opportunities of young people for nearly six centuries, which has only been possible through the collective generosity of this community. Every gift matters and makes a difference. Thank you. As one of our new deputies noted this spring, Seven Oaks School is restless, always seeking to improve. And as I look ahead to next year and beyond to our 600th anniversary in 2032, I'm delighted to welcome new faces to our senior leadership team. I'm hugely looking forward to working together with all of you. Collectively, along with students, parents, staff and governors, we will drive forward with renewed ambition. I wish you all an enjoyable and safe summer. Goodbye for now.